Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode from the Hermitcraft server. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I am having a fantastic day, and today we're going to tackle a couple different things. The first of which is our nether portal. So, our nether portal is currently just up in the roof. It's in a little tunnel, and it, it's not good. It, it functions, but it, it looks awful, and also, uh, now that false has built this amazing new nether hub it's not really practical to have it way up in the ceiling anymore because i gotta go down all the vines and do a bit like it's just it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere and it, it, it almost it, it, it basically makes it so that it's actually faster for me to fly to the shopping district with my elytra in the overworld than it is to go through the nether and that's just silly so we are going to make our nether portal hub dealio type thing here today and if we fly to right here i'm not sure whose that is down there but i'm pretty sure that this is zedaf's portal my nether portal needs to go let's see i think it's actually this one yeah it basically needs to go like right about here ish give or take. Somewhere in this general area. I think technically it's like right about there. Um, but I want to make it so that A, it looks good, and I also want to make sure that it's accessible uh, without the use of elytra, because if you die and you show up on the spawn island, you want to be able to make sure you can get back to your base without having to fly through the nether. Otherwise, you know, it's just not a great thing. So that's kind of the plan. I haven't come up with a design yet, but we're going to come up with something, and then we'll get to work. Howdy, neighbor. Hello, hello. Are you? Are we neighbors still? We kind of. Well, like, yeah, I still, I mean, it's still my area, and I visit quite often. We're like pseudo-neighbors. Su su we're neighbors-in-law. Neighbors-in-law. We'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I don't know if you've seen this. There is a road-building competition happening. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you can see here there's four main roads, okay? And and um, apparently you can win a massive pile of diamonds. It says right here in the first page of the book, you are invited to join the competition, build a road for the shopping district, and have a chance of winning a massive pile of diamonds. I mean, I could use a massive pile of diamonds. Everybody can use a massive pile of diamonds. And here's the thing. There's only two roads available. We got False and Cleo on the yellow road. We got Cub and X on the pink road. And, you know, I was thinking, I was thinking, you and I, my friend, on the blue road, because it, it passes by all of my shops and Wells Mart. I think that is a fairly brilliant idea. Let me take a little aerial. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is totally perfect. This is our road. Right? This is our road. And Wells Mart, oh, man, these road access passes are going to kill me. I have so many shops, I got to pay a diamond block each road access pass. You know what you should do, my friend? What? What? Is you should take all of these shops that are basically all right together. And just make one. And just shop. turn them into one giant store. Call it, like, Beefland. Beef or, Mart. Or something. I mean, you could. <laughs> you know. Well, Smart and Beef Mart. I mean, it's not um, entirely original. Not like Wells Mart's <laughs> exactly very original either. But, you know, like, just just make it like, uh, you know, Beef Superland or something. And then, that's, and that's then be not like, it's it. not 10 stores. It's one store that sells 10 highly specialized things. That's right. These or, are the, this is the music department. <laughs> That's right. This There's is department. the wool department. <laughs> it's a department store, then. It's exactly. a department store. Exactly. Um, <laughs> but you know what? I think I think what would help, maybe, maybe I don't have to take down those shops. Maybe I can use this massive pile of diamonds after winning this road competition to pay for these road access passes. That is an excellent idea as well. Should I sign this up? I think you absolutely should. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh remember, remember? Oh, oh, there's an anvil back here. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Plain blue road. I think I just put like our name on it. Yeah, just put uh, beef and wealth. Beef and wells. Okay. <laughs> Done. It's official. We signed up. There we go. Who the heck owns the red road? Nobody Wait, signed up for that one yet. Don't we need a team name now? Ooh. Um, bells. 
No good. No good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna veto that one. <laughs> you know, uh, if it wells. was if it was like a holiday building competition, <laughs> then I'd be like all for it. But like, what about like beef night or or finnage wells? Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll we'll think of something. Na- working title. <laughs> <laughs> none of my su- aka none of my suggestions were very good but yeah, yeah we no, definitely let's, go, need a name. let's go with that literally the team name team working title <laughs> yeah that's right <laughs> team working title that's brilliant awesome all right well sounds good we'll uh figure some stuff out and we'll go from there yeah we'll get together and design a road and then uh, win the competition excellent i've actually had a chance to afk on the server by myself for a little bit over the last few days and check out this mob farm that we built last episode. This thing is working wonderfully when there's not, you know, 10 other hermits online. <laughs> it's doing great. Uh, we've got roughly, I don't know, seven to eight chests of pretty much everything. So it's doing really well. Also, a couple of you last episode mentioned that uh, my filtering system did not have overflow protection, so I tweaked it, and now it does. So when the first row or column of chests for an item fills up all the way, it doesn't mess up the entire system. So it's good now. Uh, thank you for pointing that out. Uh, it's just something I kind of overlooked. And one other thing before I forget, I'm kind of tweaking my audio settings this episode. Last episode, they got a little messed up. I, I don't know how. I use a physical studio rack with an XLR setup, so, like, my audio settings should never change unless someone is messing with my knobs and dials and stuff on my studio rack, which is definitely not happening. So, I don't know. But either way, I'm still tweaking things. So if things are just a little bit off this episode, it, it's a work in progress. Please bear with me. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'm back, and I think we are ready to start working on our nether portal. So I've marked out a uh, kind of a foundation or a base shape here. This is basically a circle that has a radius of nine blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way ending here. And then it's one, two, three. It, 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 if you start from this, you go four, two, one, two, four. Um, and that will give you basically this shape. And what we're gonna do is we're going to build a thing on this that's kind of inspired by the bird cagey type design that we've got a lot of hermits using, like false kind of established, and I'm not sure whose portal this is right here, but um, we've got kind of this bird cage theme going amongst a lot of the hermits, and we're going to do something kind of like that, but with our own sort of spin on it and with our own block palette, and I'm actually pretty excited. I think it's going to be really cool. So let's get into building that, and I think we'll do it as a time lapse.
I hope you enjoyed that time lapse, my friends. Our nether hub is done. It's finished. It's built. It's looking good. I also added this uh, road just to kind of connect everything up, make it easy to figure out where I got to go to get back to the main hub. And we linked it up to ZF's portal as well, since his... Oh, don't you dare blow up my road. No, 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 no. Not allowed. Go away. There we go. Problem solved. Um, there's another one. Anyway, I linked it up to ZF's portal over here as well, because his is right here. And since it's right along the way, I figured we'd just link the whole thing up. But uh, yeah, it's all finished. It's looking good. I'm happy with it. It gets the job done. And, uh, you know, what more do you need? It's perfect for a, for a little single person nether hub. It works. Hey, Wells. Hey, Beef. And hi, people. Hi, people. <laughs> I looked up like they're actually watching me from the sky. Are they? Uh, they might be. I mean, where are they watching me from? It's probably the sky. Probably the sky. I concur. Sky people. <laughs> oh, that's a good book, by the way. I forgot what the full title is, but that's a wonderful book. Something, something, sky people. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm sure people are going to look up <laughs> something, something, sky people now. Uh, Wells and I have come together because we're designing the blue road. So let's take a look at our competition first. Um, this road here, what do you think, Wells? It's very black and brown. It's very black and brown. Uh, yeah, has a has a woody aftertaste. It does. I bet these little guys light up at night, though, so that's kind of a nice touch. Yeah, yeah. Right? Mm, Full-bodied. <laughs> I feel like if you tasted this road, it would taste like cigarette butts and sadness. Wow, that's, that's <laughs> sorry. That's, that's a huge. That's that's I really cool. want to win this diamond. Well, that's, that's, wanna win wow, this. you're just you're pulling no punches there, beef. Just <laughs> your road um, looks like an ashtray tastes. Like wow, <laughs> savage, um, my friend. Just savage. Let's, let's move on. I don't want to dwell on that. This next road over here looks pretty good. I kind of like this road. I really do. Um, it's it's uh. It's a little, it's a little bland, maybe. It's a little barren landscape sort of thing, but I like the way they designed like the stuff around the road. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, it's it, like this glass part is, it, the whole thing is the road. It's not just like this right. little bit. Right, yeah. Like all of it is basically what they did, so. I like it, I like it, but I mean, there's, does, is it inviting? Does it say, come walk on my road and buy my things? Mm, nah. I, I does, think... it say, I... does it even say road? No. Because it, technically, it... I I feel like I'm walking this whole thing's the road, like you were saying. I mean, it, it feels very moon to me. Yes. That, yes, exactly. It's exactly. like 2020 has been so bad that I just want to <laughs> escape and I live on the moon now. <laughs> Apparently that's what that place is. There's another red-ish road over here somewhere. Where is that? I think at? it's like over here. Oh, right here. Yeah. So this road here screams, "Do not walk on me unless you want to get murdered." That is kind of cool, though. I mean, you're the one with bloody clothes, so you can walk on the road, and I will avoid you. Oh, look, it's Cub. Careful, he's aiming his... He's, oh, he's jealous. He's jealous of our design. He probably saw it. You guys will see it soon. Um, yeah, this is kind of cool. I like how it lights. Does it light, light up as you walk? Along? It seems that way. That's a fancy red... Yeah, it does. That's a fancy That's redstone touch. Cool. That's pretty cool. The road itself, though, I mean, are we judging roads or are we judging special effects? That's a good question. Because the road itself, can you look at your little work. You little work. It's very red. It's very red. And then we have one more road over this way, I believe. Yes, this one here it runs all along the side here. I really like those mushrooms now that I uh, noticed them. Did you, guys, did you see that, those mushrooms there? Uh, yeah. They like. I like them. They I do too. They look good. They do look good. Uh, I would totally hide uh, decked out boxes in them if I was Tango. Oh, good idea. I'm just saying. But I lost you. This oh, there road, you are. I found you. Hi. Yeah. This this road is very 1.16. Yes. This you whole know, area. They took advantage of the new box. This whole area is very 
Hello, Cub. Cub's all around. <laughs> Cub's like, <laughs> I'm watching you. Um, not a bad road, but again, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't scream inviting to me. It doesn't. You don't want to walk on this road. I feel like if you walk on this road, the soles of your shoes would be black and and burnt in no. Well, time. I mean, if, if we're being objective, yeah, this whole road is blackstone. Yes, the whole road is blackstone. Different colors of, of or different patterns of blackstone, but definitely all blackstone. You know, with a little basalt along the sides occasionally for some like yes. pillory bits. Yeah. Well, for spice, a little basalt. Yeah, for spice. Yeah, I do like right? the use of the chains them. here as like a yeah, like a that is guard right. rail sort of thing. I, I have discovered a flaw. They don't guard anything. They they do if you're not bad. <laughs> what are you talking about? You can walk right over them. You no, get no. A, you yeah, you get a full extra block of wiggle room to not fall. That's true. So like if you're say, not bad at Minecraft, that should be a, a significant buffer. Listen. Picture this. You're out uh, a night a night out on the town here at the shopping district. You're over there in that tavern drinking some brewskis, okay? Okay. You're walking along uh, on that section specifically, because my theory doesn't work with this section, because this section actually works properly. But that section specific, you're walking along, you walk a little bit over to your 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 right, depending on where you're going from, and you fall into the water. I mean, you can't fault the person who's walking for that. You but if you but if you've been well, yeah, I suppose that could be bad. <laughs> it, you're right. It's a safety hazard. We should file a complaint. Safety hazard. Okay. And then we haven't built our road yet, by the way. Maybe people are expecting us to show the full road, but we've come up with a genius design, which I think is the nicest road. It's ever, brilliant. Ever made. Look at this, guys. Look at this road. This road screams walk in me, on me. In me? Probably in me because we've got the, the trellis. I'd, I'd say on me. On me. Yes. In me is probably weird. Utilize um, me. Utilize. Travel upon me. Travel upon my wonderful blockiness. Look at this. We've got different colored um, or different uh, textured blocks here for a little variety. We got this beautiful, beautiful redstone lamp lit up. That's just a nice warm glow to the path. These beautiful trellises. Some will have leaves. Some will not. It'll be kind of like it won't be. It won't be repetitive like all these other roads that I just witnessed. Yeah, I'm saying. it'll be. The, the, less repetitive and better Ran random a little bit random a little bit randomized some yeah. some will have these some won't some will have leaves some won't um i mean look at it variation variation is the word that we're probably that's the, looking for. that's the one i remember now <laughs> i can english <laughs> yes english our english is fantastic i have um, vocabulary big <laughs> <laughs> doesn't it look so good though like come on I, actually, I, I really like it, actually. It turned I out really very like well. It too. Now all we have to do is build all of it. Yeah, it's a great proof of concept. Um, right. We got our corner bits kind of figured out. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have yeah. some challenges just given I, where yes. these roads are supposed to go. Because, mm -hmm. uh, like, we got a couple of weird diagonals and stuff that we're supposed to do stuff with. Yeah. But I'm confident that between you that we can figure it out. We should be okay. Well, did you come over here and check out the front of Wells Mart? Look at look at where I'm facing. Like right, who who decided the road was gonna wrap around that mushroom block over there or that mushroom over there? That's ridiculous. I, I'm telling you right now that the road is not gonna wrap around that mushroom block right there. The the I think that, the road is gonna come that. from approximately here. Yeah, across like so. To Wells Mart, uh -huh. and then it's going to make a ninety-degree turn and go that way. I think that's probably that, for that, the best. This is what's going to happen. Where does that road even connect? This blue road goes all the way. Oh, and then it goes over up to here. Under. Interesting. Okay, that's not too bad. That's yeah. not too bad. Well, we'll, we'll we're going to have a couple like spots where it gets a little weird, but we'll. Uh, yeah, I, I'm confident in your abilities, Beef. <laughs> I'm confident in yours as well. Look at that beautiful. I, I just want to walk on it. That's all. It's very nice. This it would is. be like a perfect date road. Oh, yes. You know, you, you get with someone you're close with uh -huh. and you just go on a nice leisurely walk. You got the 
nature and the birds are chirping and the sun is shining. Yeah. Oh you know, gosh, I can picture it, all those a, things happening on this road and none of those things happening on any of the other roads we just witnessed. Therefore, our road is the best. It's science. It's I mean, a, objective it's cool. science. Completely <laughs> unbiased. <laughs> Absolutely. The road is finished. Beef has done his part. I've done my part. Honestly, I, I, I know I'm a little bit biased, but I think we do have the best road. Um, out of all the roads and the roads it looks like pretty much everyone has finished their roads I mean as I said, I'm biased, <laughs> you know, everyone probably thinks their own road is the best But I I really love the way this turned out uh, You know with the the thingamabobs and the grass and the foliage and all the natural You know sort of sandy colors and things. I think it turned out really well So the part that I did was this little tiny little bit right here this part kind of going down towards over there and then this whole chunk that kind of comes down the hill goes in front of Wells Mart over here and then connects up with the chunk that Beef did over here. So I'm, I think the road is completely and totally done at this point. I've put my finishing touches on it. I don't know if Beef still plans to do anything, but his side looks pretty complete to me. Also, I did open up Wells Mart a couple days ago, officially now, and uh, we are selling string and bones, and check it out. We've actually got sales. It only, the, this store has not been open very long, and string and bone uh, blocks are not like ridiculously difficult to come by. So, uh, you know, 19 diamonds from string and bone blocks, that's not bad, I will take it. Uh, so yeah, we've got our first sales. Wellsmart is, well, considering how much I paid for the land, not profitable yet. <laughs> We're gonna have to make a lot more sales before we pay for the land uh, expenses, but it's getting there. It's a start, it's something. The last thing I want to do in today's episode is some decked out stuff. This is a game that hopefully needs no explanation. Uh, if you're not familiar, go watch like literally any other Hermit's videos for the last, oh, two or three weeks or whatever it's been now. Um, so yeah, it's fantastic. It's a mini game made by Tango. It's looking incredible. I've played a little bit of it on stream. I did a couple runs on stream. Uh, unfortunately, they were all unsuccessful. I have a very empty board right now, and I have yet to actually complete a single run successfully. So I have been stockpiling some dungeon keys. I've got three of them right now, and our deck that we currently have consists of a whopping three cards. So let's do a run together here. Let's uh, pop... I gotta remember, actually, I think the, uh, yeah, the restroom is inside here. So let's pop this into here. That'll open this room up. Oh, hello. There's a random key in here, which is a little weird. Um, but okay. Oh no, you know what? That's right, because Tango changed the system, so now it gives you, that's the key you get. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Uh, I haven't played this since he updated the game. Last time you had to find a key and a compass. It didn't provide you a compass as soon as you came in. Okay, cool. So anyway, we've got our deck box, which is right here. Place your shulker deck right there. And then we're not going to press the button just yet. We got to take off all of our armor and all that kind of good stuff. Let's just grab this shulker box right here. And we'll just put all of this, oh, set our spawn as well. Put all of this stuff into here. That can go here. And then we have our compass. Oh, also that stuff needs to go there as well. Okay, I think we are ready for the run. Press, oh wait, that's when you have completed. There we go, press that. And that should activate the game. Yeah, we've got all of our armor and stuff. I think we're ready to go. So the way that this works is we're gonna pop in here and hopefully follow the compass to find some treasure. I don't know how it'll work. 
but we're going to give it a go. <laughs> we know that the compass is saying over here is kind of where we got to go. What we really want to avoid... Wow, it actually seems like we're pretty close. Check all the barrels. Looking for loot? Nothing. Whole lot of... Oh, there's all these too. Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay. That's fine. Oh, hi. That's a ravager. Um. Okay. That ravager is in a very unfortunate location, too. Considering that's basically where we gotta go. Yeah, he's he's right in the way. Can we like sneak past him over here if I'm like a little sneaky? Maybe. Hey, we got a coin. Okay, take that. It looks to me. Oh, no. Like it's on the other side of that wall, <laughs> which is rather unfortunate because this Ravager is just chilling over there. I need him to not be. And I don't know that I can necessarily lose him. Maybe we can sneak. I think we I, I think we successfully snuck past him there. Another coin. I mean, it seems like it's over farther that way. It's so dark in here. I can't see anything. Okay. Um, we got to be close, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somewhere over here. Oh, here we go. This block. So we toss that. And we got a loot box token. And now we just got to get out of here without getting killed. And I think, honestly, I should probably just get out. Because we, as I said, we haven't actually successfully completed a run. I've done three runs on stream. All of them ended in my death. So it would be very nice to get out of here without dying and getting killed. But I got to figure out how to actually get out. How did we get in here? There's this. Uh-oh. I may have lost my way, perhaps. Oh, there he is. Okay, Ravager right there. We're not going that way after all. Never mind. Disregard. <laughs> There's like five Ravagers in here somewhere, I think. Okay, this looks familiar. We've been here. We have not been over here. Hey, it's a me. Is this how you get out? No. There's a diamond pile over here. Hmm. I gotta figure out how to get out of here. This is not good. There's a Ravager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's where the Ravager was before. So the 
exit should be somewhere around here. I thought, right? Because didn't we run into that guy before? Maybe? Am I losing my mind? I feel like maybe I'm completely losing. No, 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 no. Okay, this is where we got to go. I remember now. Uh, but yeah. This should lead us to the exit, I think. Yeah, there's the way out. Okay, we made it. Our very first successful run. Look at that. I will take it. All right, so we press this button to say we've completed the run. That gives us our shulker box back. And then we can pick a card. Loot finder, loot finder, soul seeker. I'm going to go with a soul seeker card, I guess. And then we should be able to put all of our stuff back on now. Um, silk touch, fortune, there we go. And then give me my food, give me my other goodies, throw this into here. We can come and grab that. We'll put that in here since that's our deck box. Now, I guess guess where do we turn in our loot box tokens i'm guessing out here loot box trade in put in your loot box token loot box okay got it so this is what we need so we just toss that boy into there and we got ourselves a box which is great bunch of coins we got some artifacts finally decked out ravager tag what does the Ravager tag do? I don't know. Um, but we're going to put all of this stuff onto our board. Rare. Common. That that's all. I'm not sure what the Ravager <laughs> I'm not sure what the Ravager tag does. Maybe you, you maybe you use it on a Ravager, like you tag them and then you'll be able to see where they are for your for the rest of your run. Is that like the idea? Because I, I get the feeling that that's the idea. Either way, super cool game. Tons of fun. Really enjoyable. Well done, Tango. Uh, probably going to do a bunch more of these, but I'll be doing them probably as Hermitcraft Extras episodes is what I'm thinking. So, yeah, good stuff. And then I'm going to go give this shulker box back to Tango. But, guys, that is about all that we have time for today. So I think I'm going to go ahead and call this episode right here. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.